Hey guys, thanks for checking out another one of our videos. Uh, on the table with us today, we have Gizmo. Gizmo is a Lhasa Apso. And basically what we're doing with Gizzy here is uh, we're giving him a cut down, a shave down, a very short cut. Uh, but we're going to feature his face in this one here. Uh, we're going to clear out all under his eyes and we're actually going to take all this hair off of his face uh, just so that he stays cleaner and, uh, you know, get all this gook out of his eyes. Uh, but what I want to kind of point out here is that, you know, a lot of times with these losses and Shih Tzus, they start growing all this hair right here in the mouth area um, and it kind of grows right into their mouth so and under their lip like that and, and sometimes the hair will get caught in the teeth uh, it'll wrap around the teeth and it'll it'll cause a lot of uh, you know just distress for the dog and this, this is why we want to kind of just shave out this face and and clean them up real well okay so let's start up okay guys so we're using a 10 blade on this and we're just gonna kind of start right with the eyes um, with Gizzy too another thing we want to point out is uh, as, uh, we he pants a lot so we want to be extra careful around the the mouth area uh, when we get to that point uh, but let's start with under the eyes again we're using a 10 blade Right there, you can see what we did. Just, he could see a lot better. He's already feeling a little more comfortable. Um, we're used to doing Gizzy. He's used to this process. Okay, so we're gonna take it from that point and we're just gonna kind of come down the face and we're gonna clip with the growth of hair initially. Once we do that, I'm going to just come underneath a little, just trying to clear it out a little bit, little by little. And I'm just going to grip the, the head and do a little bit of the face. It's okay, Bubba. It's okay, good. It's okay. There we go. Again, these hairs that we were talking about, you want to unfold it like that and come across quickly. Again, you have to be careful with the tongue. See that tongue coming out? You want to be real careful with that. You want to try to time them. Um, a lot of times you could just kind of feel them doing it. So you can see how we're making some progress here. Uh, what I like to do sometimes is as I'm doing it, I kind of just go over my work real quick because it's easy. Just jump back to the eyes, get any excess there. And just to give them a break from the one spot, then go back. Sometimes if you jump around, it gives them a little bit of a reprieve from doing the one area, you know? Okay, busy. so I'm coming up under his chin here. And again, those, those little hairs in the mouth are the tough ones, and you want to be careful. Uh, it's, it's a little tedious. Good boy, Bubba. Okay, okay. This tongue thing there. Go back here. Like I said, I'm jumping around just to get his mind off of that area. Uh, he's not crazy about his um, face being done. So, kind of do it in parts and methodically and try to, try to make it as easy as possible. So we got one side of the face done here. Right side is always easier because I'm right-handed. So, um, it's okay. Um, well, we're going to start to do the left side here. So uh, I'm going to actually respray my clipper. Again, I'm just kind of wiping it off. Um, the reason why I keep doing that is because because of all that moisture buildup and the wetness around his mouth, it's gunking up the clipper very quickly. So uh, okay, so now we're going to kind of take it from here. Get this out first. It's okay, Gizzy. Okay. 
Again, this the right side of his face is always a little bit more of a challenge. Um, I am I'm using my left hand. Uh, if you're a groomer, it kind of pays to be ambidextrous if you can. If not, um, different approach. But okay. switching over, doing that. I'm just gonna come up and under. There you go, buddy. There you go, buddy. And it's all positioning. Like you see, I'm stretching the mouth forward. I'm, I mean, back, I'm kind of stretching. And coming up this way. Good boy, buddy. Good boy. It's okay, Jesse. Oh, good boy. It's okay. Be real careful, corner of the eye area here. Uh, we're gonna go over this later. Again, just these hairs right here. It's okay, Bubba. Oh, hold on, Gizzy. I gotcha. Again, we're kind of just pulling that lip out a little and trying to time our clip. Okay, Bubba. Good boy. Oh, good boy, Gizzy. Okay. Good boy. That's all. And then, again, just kind of go back up here, get his mind off of that area. Okay. Guys, if you're not comfortable doing this, again, uh, just leave it to your groomer, your professional groomer. And, uh, but if you are, it's kind of quick, it's easy. Um, okay, so just like that, we got the prep done. We already got a lot of that off. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna get Gizzy in the tub, and then we'll just show you the finished product when we're done. Good boy. Good boy, Giz. You're such a good boy. Okay, guys, so we got Gizmo back on the table after a good bath. Um, again, this is what we did prior to the bath. We just shaved down his face with a 10 blade. So just kind of go over what we did. I have a snap-on comb here, so I'm just doing the top of his head and getting that done, uh, coming up here, side of his eyes, and uh, do this side here. It's okay, Gizzy. Good boy, Bubba. And I'm doing this with a four snap-on comb and kind of get right into the bang area here. Get that out of the way. Just a little safer to do with the snap-on comb as opposed to the 10 blade itself. Again, this is just a shave down. All right, now we're just gonna pop that 10 blade back on. And now what'll happen is the 10 blade is gonna go through that uh, hair a lot easier than uh, the, the dirty hair that was there before. But it's important to get a lot of that hair off prior to the bath only because if we saturate all that hair, it's we're never gonna get uh, the 10 blade through it because it would just really knot it up and, and cause it to be more difficult to get off. So. So now we're just getting in there with the 10 blade and now you can see that it's just coming off very, very easily because the hair is nice and clean. It's okay, Baba. It's okay. Okay, okay. Good boy. And like we said before, those hairs inside the mouth, you try to grab those. Uh, just kind of tapping with, with this. Oh, sorry, Gizzy. Sorry, Baba. It's okay. Now you don't have to press too hard after the bath. It's okay. You're going sneezing a little bit. It's okay, Bubba. Okay. I'll just do this side of him. Good boy, Jesse. Same thing with the mouth area. Just kind of get that blade in there. Good boy, Jesse. Boy, buddy. 
kind of grabbing the corners of the eyes. Be real careful here, guys. Down his neck a little. Good boy, Gizzy. That's all, bud. Just trying to stretch out the skin a little. Get that little groove under the eyes. And we're just kind of tapping and finessing it. We're not digging in too hard or anything. So, but that's about it. All right, guys. There you got it. There's Gizmo. Give it up for Gizmo letting us do all that. Uh, sweet little dog he is. Um, again, just the purpose of this video is just to show you how to shave down the face. Uh, we do it all prior, get as much hair off as you can, and then uh, after the bath, it comes off a lot easier. And again, we got those little mouth hair, so he's going to feel a lot better with this haircut. Guys, as always, thank you so much. Please like, share, subscribe, uh, like us on Facebook, follow us on Instagram, Twitter. Please check out our radio show. It's called Groomer Humor. We'll leave that link down below. On behalf of me, Anthony and Gizzy, guys, thanks again for checking us out.